Okay, so we've got another practice question um, from paper one. Um, this time it is looking at part three of that exam paper, all about your challenges of your urban world. So it's asking you to explain two ways that rapid urban growth creates challenges for people living in mega cities. Um, so I've given you some images to help you. So the first thing you need to think about is kind of what that challenge is and kind of why that challenge might be taking place. Then you need to think about why it is that this might be a challenge for people that are living there. So I've got three different images. Each of those are a different point that has been explained. So I want you to pause the clip for me. Have a go at answering this question. There are other different challenges that you can talk about. Um, so if you think you've got another point or another piece of explanation, that is fine. Have a go at answering that and then we will go through the answer together. So if you pause the clip, four minutes for this question, you should be spending two minutes on each point and their explanation. And then we will come back and have a look through the mark scheme together. So give us a pause and we will look through. OK, so welcome back. Um, you should have answered that question. You should have two points and two bits of explanation. Um, so the points that we've got here, so your first one is about your rural to urban migration, increasing people or population in your city. This can lead to our housing shortages. So rural to urban migration can lead to housing shortages. There's your first challenge, your first point. You then need to explain why that would be a challenge. So this is a challenge as slums have poor living conditions leading to um, diseases such as cholera. The second point that I've got on here is an increase in population can lead to job shortages in the formal sector. This means people are more likely to have to work in informal employment, which has poor working conditions and a lack of guaranteed income. Okay, so if we have a look through the mark scheme for this here, you can see rural to urban migration will result in housing shortages. This leads to the development of slums with poor living conditions. A rapid increase in the population of the city will result in increased pollution of water sources. This can lead to diseases such as cholera. A large percentage of the population might live in slums, which lack basic sanitation facilities. Large increase in population will create job shortages, leading to a growth in the informal economy. So give that a pause, have a look. Remember in your question, they could ask you specifically about environmental challenges, social challenges or economic challenges. So make sure you read the question carefully. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the clip and found it useful for all your geography revision needs, please hit the like button below. If you want access to more content like this, more revision playlists, more exam technique and feedback, please subscribe to the channel. Regular content will be added and updated to help support you on your GCSE journey.